what each person goes through every day differs, but almost everyone deals with certain things each day, like math. While it's different for students of all ages, tasks appear that require certain math skills. That's why it all begins in elementary school. Unfortunately, the textbook method can be boring and complicated for students. What they learned in class often confuses them. Fortunately, there is a solution that is simpler. In fact, they are simpler and actually quite fun, making learning easier. It all starts by using the all-important adding and subtracting fractions worksheets. Possibly the easiest way has to do with cooking and baking. This requires using kitchen gadgets as tools. The very first time might be with measuring dry elements like flour, salt, baking soda, and the like. Later try liquid ingredients like oil, water, and beaten eggs. With this particular exercise children can watch and compare these figures because they are clearly written and applied. A far more challenging activity in the kitchen is getting kids to divide or multiply fractions by lowering or raising the expected portions. For instance, the child can prepare meals far to all the while preparing a recipe that makes four to six portions. The child will have to get the job done by dividing the by two or what have you. The very best illustration throughout meal preparation is dividing the meal into equal portions based on the quantity of diners, dividing pizza, blocks of chocolate, and so on among the family. It can be done while dining as a great practice. Additionally, children will become familiar with the idea of equitable distribution of food and over time assets. Purchases are yet another way to divide fractions of a whole. Even flyers that advertise sales like 50% off deals are a wonderful way to get the mind working. Distances such as miles are another. Moreover, a parent can also use dimensions as with room sizes and furniture pieces. However, money can be just as helpful in solving problems that would make it easier on them. The child must learn what a fraction is firstly. From there, using the tools above will help them with their favorite hobbies, whether they are into baking, running, and so on. Each day these figures are used almost without regard. They just form part of normal life. That's why they should be taught with daily experiences. Of course, they should also learn which grammar rules apply with regards to writing decimals, money or fractions. There are ordinal amounts, dashes, and the like. Writing a check means learning how to replace the decimal with the word end. By using adding and subtracting fractions worksheets, children and adults alike can improve their confidence in daily activities. They will understand change from purchases better for one thing. Moreover, they will learn their importance and be able to solve more challenging math problems in the future.